Hey, it's Hazel. Welcome to my channel. This is my first ever video. Thank you for watching. Uh, today I thought maybe I should do an everyday sort of makeup routine and then I decided, you know what, who cares? Gold. I love gold. Who doesn't love gold? We all love gold. So I decided to do a face using the uh, Lime Crime Diamond Crusher lipstick in the shade Lit and I've used it on my eyes and my lips. So thank you and let's get on with the video. Because this would be more of a glam, going out kind of look, you would not wear this every day, I'm going to use my expensive Urban Decay primer. Uh, so for this, I like to apply primer with my hands because then you don't waste much. Apply the primer all over the face, concentrating on problem areas such as the under eyes, nose and chin. Okay, next I'm going to go in with my foundation. It's, sorry, put my cap off. The Infallible 24 hour matte. I know it's reversed, I'm sorry. It's by L'Oreal and I use the shade 1 porcelain because I'm very pale. So, um, let's get a. That's a bit much. We'll see how it goes. We don't have to use all of that, we can always wipe some off. Take a fresh blending sponge of your choice. I use the blending sponge by B and lightly tap the foundation into your face. Remember to remove nose piercings for easy application. Don't forget to blend the foundation into your neck and onto your ears or you may end up with harsh lines. Okay, next we conceal under the eyes. I use the Collection Long Lasting Perfection Ultimate Wear Concealer. Claims to last for 16 hours in the shade Fair One. So let's go in. And if you snatch all the way back to your hairline, that will give you the illusion of a thinner face. Conceal under the eyes and around the inner corner, a technique I learned from the makeup manual by Bobby Brown. Then use a small blending sponge to blend it into your foundation and go back over any spots that you're not happy with. Now we can take our Technique Soft Focus Baking Powder. It's just a transparent loose powder and I take a little a Green Beauty Blender and pop it into the powder and look how much it picks up. Look at that. And you want to do this over the baking tin because you don't want to lose all that extra powder. And I know it looks dreadful right now, but we're gonna brush the excess off with a brush in a second. We grab the Matte Maker by Maybelline New York. It, it's mattifying powder and it's in the shade 10 Classic Ivory. It's all very ivory and porcelain. <laughs> That's the face set. There we go. And it's time to contour. I just got a brand new contouring brush from e.l.f. which I love. I keep this little hat on. There you go, e.l.f. contouring brush. See that? Kind of. And I use the Sleek Contour and Highlight Palette. I don't really like this highlighter, but I do like this contour palette because it's not too orange. I have tried a few that are very orange, and I'll do another video on products I hate, which seems to be all the rage on YouTube, so why not? Uh, it is in the colour Light, so it's up there. And then you just take our contour brush, brush it in the powder a little bit, and then we want to really carve this out because it's a dramatic look. So I tend to move my mouth sideways so I can see the jawbone. Okay, I know it looks a little bit orange in this light, but we are going to blend it in. That's not my contouring done, that's just my cheeks. And whew, I love this brush. It's the M444 by Morphe. And now I have a ugh, flooper. I have a bad jawline. It's horrible. I hate it. I, could, I wish I could change it, but contouring—that's how you change it. 
So you get a little bit more on the brush again and just go, I just go slightly above where my jaw is so then when I turn my head I'm like, oh yeah. And don't come down all the way to the chin because then you'll just give yourself a dark chin. So there, that's, look at that, that's so much better. And then again on the other side, hair getting caught. There we go. Buff the powder downwards into the neck until there are no harsh lines. My face is already a better shape. Now, I do not use this to contour the nose. I use another one of the little brushes that I got off eBay. It's a fluffy angled brush, if you can see. So let's go in with this. Just a little bit on the side that you want. So I've only put it on this side because I'm going to contour this side of my nose. Do that in the mirror, sorry. We want to come down a straight line and we want it to be quite close to the centre but not too close. Like we just want to cut away anything that we don't want. See? I have a very, very round bottomed nose, so do you want to like cut fairly close? This will blend out in a sec. So. And then we go in with the other half of the brush because we want to do this side. We want a slight bit more and we'll just go around here. Not too heavy. If you make it too heavy, then you're just gonna have like a really strange looking nose. You want to not go on this part, but you want to go on the inside of the nose there. Just to make that look slightly smaller. See how that one looks smaller than that one? Okay, my nose looks a bit better now. And then get our concealer again, because it's a lighter colour than our skin. You should go two shades lighter than your skin. But if you're as pale as me, that is very hard to find. There we go. Easy peasy. And that is the contouring done. Now, highlighting. I have two different highlighters here that I love. We have Vivid Baked by Revlon in the shade Golden Lights. And we have the e.l.f. Moonlit Pearls highlighter. I think Golden Lights is slightly golder, so we're going to go for that. I'm going to try with this one. I used to use this for highlighting. It's a little bit more solid, not very much. Uh, but we'll see. Use your larger highlighting brush to sweep highlighter over your cheekbone and up to the hairline. Then use a fan brush to blend it into your skin. Hello, there it is. God damn, perfect. Uh, next, I would do brows. So, again, I love sleek. So, we're going in with the sleek eyebrows in the shade dark. Not the shade very dark, but the shade dark. Because you always want to go a shade, a shade lighter with your brows because otherwise it makes them too intense. Using a spoolie, I use the Morphe M115. Brush your eyebrow hairs upwards. Take some brow wax and lightly dab it onto the underside of your eyebrow in the shape that you want. Blend this wax into the brow using the same brush to get rid of any harsh lines. Then brush the hairs downwards and draw the shape on top of the brow again using the wax and blend again. Then go in with the brow powder on the rounded brush and fill in any patches, avoiding the inner edge of the brow. Use the spoolie to create a fade by dragging from the inner edge of the brow to the outer edge. Use a small concealer brush and your concealer to cut out the brow and cover up any mistakes. Without refilling the brush, tap lightly on the inside edge of the brow to create a stronger fade. Repeat this on the other side. If you think you've done them slightly too dark, I think mine are maybe a little bit too dark. Take a little bit, Ooh. oops, <laughs> I dropped it. Take a bit of your face powder, it did not break, but good. Uh, take your brush again and just get a tiny little bit, and just go over your forehead. See, I think that looks a little bit better now. There you go. I have invested in a nice expensive eyeshadow primer. This is the 
Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion in Original. Spread the primer over your eyelid, up to your brow bone, and blend in with another mini beauty sponge. If you're using a powder eyeshadow, you can also add a layer of face powder over this to make it easier to blend. Shadow primer. Uh, right, let's try doing this without putting one eye on it first. This is the first. So that was the Diamond Crusher. Then we're going to be using the Naked 2 palette by Urban Decay. And we're going to be using shade Half Baked. It's very gold. And we're going to take a little Morphe, Morphe 210. I have very small eyes, so I tend to use the smaller brushes. And fill the brush. Fill it. Absolutely fill it. Beautiful. We just tap it over the top. And then we're going to blend it upwards uh, this is where you're going to want to start getting less on your brush so. <laughs> by tapping powder on top we set the liquid lipstick and make the gold more intense brush off the excess on the brush and use it to blend upwards so the colour forms a gradient into your skin use a smudger I use the Morphe M213 to blend out any harsh lines between the lipstick and the shadow okay, and then for underbrow highlight, I think I'm going to go in with Booty Call with this a uh, slightly bigger, another Morphe, it's M209. Go into Booty Call with that and just kind of put it on there, just under the brow, blend it in, bring it down a little bit, bring it in a little bit. You just want a little bit of highlight there. Just make your eyes stand out. Okay, so that's the first eye. So I'm just going to do the other eye now. Okay, so now I'm going to go in for winged eyeliner. Wish me luck. I use Glam Eyes by Rimmel London. I use a slightly older liquid liner to outline the wing as the brush is drier so the lines can be sharper. Follow the curve of the eye and bring it up and outwards on the outside corner. Extend the wing down to your lower lash line to make your eyes look bigger. Fill in using a newer liquid liner and then repeat this on the other eye. So that's eyeliner done. Now the last thing to do is lips. So I'm going to be using the sleek Matte Me liquid lipstick in the shade Fired Up. Here I'm using a MAC lip pencil in the shade Cherry to outline where to put the liquid lipstick. Then just filling it in, using the lipstick and perfecting the cupid's bow. All done. Okay, so last but not least. <sighs> now you wanna, cause I just want red and gold. I wipe off most of it until I've just got this shiny, shiny tip there. Concentrate most of the gold onto the center of the bottom lip and then without refilling the applicator, dab it downwards and outwards to blend it all over. Refill the applicator slightly because you don't want too much on your top lip and repeat the technique from the bottom lip. That is our liquid gold liquid lipstick. Well, I forgot to I forgot to do mascara and eyeliner and to come out as Anthony fake eyelashes, so I'm not done. Sorry. Sorry for that. Um, so yeah. Curl eyelashes first because otherwise it gets gunky, you don't want that. Now all this is dry, I can do it um, quite easily, so you want to get it in as close as you can. Press hard on the eyelash curler a couple of times, close to the base of the lashes. Then apply mascara to both top and bottom lashes, 
I'm using the Rimmel Day to Night Mascara. I use the Cole uh, L'Oreal Infallible Indefectible 16 Hour Studio Liner, um, which is waterproof and in the shade Night to Day Black. Apply the liner in the waterline from the inner corner to the very outer corner, applying more the further out you go to intensify the eyes. For fake eyelashes, I'm cheap, so I go for Superdrug. I do not like the glue from Superdrug. I have a different glue by Kiss that I use. Um, these are Volume Edition 20 that I'm about to put on. Apply the lash glue to the band and use tweezers to precisely apply the fake lashes close to the base of your natural lashes. Make sure they are pointing forwards, not upwards, and pinch them together with your eyelashes using the tweezers. So, now I'll go and do my hair. Okay, here's the final look, finished. you like it let me know if you like it like this video subscribe i'll probably have more videos out can't wait haven't seen many people do this uh top coat and eyeshadow with the liquid lips so that's why i chose to do this video um but thank you for watching and good night <laughs>